Bullshit. And I'm sad that he's still in jail, but I'm also proud that he did not sign those conditions. He continues to sit in jail and fight silently for his right to demonstrate, for his right to organize, and for his right to speak out against the disgusting policies of this government. So, the Crown and the Attorney General and the police all seem to be really confused with all the resources that they have at their disposal. They can't, they can't seem to discern the difference between a public demonstration and a panel. And we are going to take video here and send it to them, but we don't actually need to do that because they surveil us pretty well. So here it is, sur surveillance cameras, if you're watching. Can I get a couple people to grab those posters on the ground? This is a teach-in to explain to the morons that have locked Alex away the difference. As we see over here, this is a picture of people sitting behind a table. Um, there's glasses of water on the table. Their hands are folded. There's notes, pieces of paper in front of them. This is typically what a panel or an indoor meeting looks like. It happens indoors, sometimes in university classrooms and lecture halls. Now this is what a demonstration looks like. People, people who are fucking pissed and are on the streets, raising their voices, marching with placards like these, with signs, chanting, these are what make a public demonstration. So given that you're confused, given that you continue to threaten not only Alex, but many other people um, with arrest for participating in panels, please note that is not a public demonstration. Um, now, I'm no expert, so we have a lot of people here today who can uh, also give the Crown a little bit of background and education that they much need. Our first speaker today is Judy Rebick. She's an activist and guest lecturer here at Ryerson University and was on the panel with Alex the day he was arrested. Give it up for Judy! Today the state in this country has gone yet another step in removing civil liberties without due process. And I think that we have to be clear that nothing like this, to my knowledge, nothing like this has ever happened. They told Alex he could only be out on bail if he didn't express a political opinion. To anyone, including the media. Now how does a JP who doesn't even have a law degree, who's a patronage appointment, get to remove not only the right to protest, not only the right to assemble, but the right to speak, the most fundamental civil right in our Constitution. It's not acceptable and it can't stand. So bravo to Alex for refusing to sign such an outrageous condition. You know, even the political prisoners in Siberia had the right to, look, to the right to write letters. Is our country becoming worse than than the worst authoritarian countries in the world? You know, we just have someone in prison in China who got the Nobel Peace Prize, and he's not allowed to write and publicly thank the Nobel prize committee for his prize. Is that where we're going in this country? That people can't even talk and say what their opinions are because they're under charge? I think that I feel very good that here at Ryerson, the entire community, students, staff, and faculty have stood up and said, Alex was invited to this campus to participate in a panel. And that's what he did. 
And if anybody uh, needs a lecture about what a panel is, go online, you can see the panel. I mean, you know, it was a bit long and boring, really. It wasn't at all like a rally. I don't mean Alex was boring, but I mean it went on a bit. You know, these things often do. And it wasn't, it was about a discussion amongst ourselves about where we were going. It had nothing to do with a protest, which is usually directed against someone, like the government or the courts or even the university president sometimes. But this wasn't against anyone. It was just a discussion. So it's nonsense that he was participating in a public demonstration, and they know that. So how do they deal with it? Not by saying it was a mistake that his bail was revoked, which is what they should have done, but by now making his bail include not being able to speak on a panel and not being able to speak at all. It's, it's, it's a bit scary, really, that they're willing to go to this level. And so we have to stop them. We have to stop this in its tracks, and that means we have to build an even bigger movement to say we will not give up our freedom to speak. We will not give up our freedom to assemble. And whatever differences we might have on political issues, we stand together on this, that the most basic fundamental civil rights in this country cannot be violated, not by the cops, not by a goddamn JP, not by the government. And we stand united on that. We will defend these rights till the, till the end. Our next speaker is the president of the Ryerson Faculty Association. Give it up for Anne Rissologi. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I didn't pass a motion at our executive meeting today, but I should have, and that was to uh, spend some of the money of our faculty association to buy both a Webster's Dictionary and an Oxford Dictionary and send it off to both the police and the Attorney General. Unfortunately, I didn't, but I think we might just want to do that anyway. Clearly, this is a violation of civil rights, and they, they don't know the difference between a public demonstration and a panel that we have at the university. So on behalf of the Faculty Association, I take this opportunity to express our profound concern and disgust uh, at the arrest of Alex. It's unwarranted, it's unacceptable, and we should not accept it in a democratic society so, such as ours. It's a flagrant violation of justice and a violation of our fundamental rights and freedoms. We live in a country where we have a constitution, and it's one that we should be upholding the freedom to speak, the freedom of association, the freedom of academic academic freedom which is part of our broader freedom of speech and in a university particularly we respect those rights that's exactly what a university is all about Amen. we shouldn't be bringing people onto our campuses and then having them arrested because they have the right to speech <laughs> Alex was a guest of the university he was a guest of the organizers of the panel at the university and as such the university and all of us have a right to protect him and protect him from state repression. So like any good academic and all of you, I checked on what a panel is and what a demonstration is and this looks like a panel of demonstrators to me. <laughs> a panel is precisely that, it's what the term implies. It's a panel on which invited guests come to the university, they air their views, and this is something that we encourage and we cherish on university campuses. So the arrest of Alex constitutes a blatant disregard for academic freedom, freedom of the university in a democratic society. So let's work together to keep our universities, including all other universities, free of state repression. There is no place for state repression on our campuses, let alone in our society. We demand his immediate release. We request a full, open and transparent public accounting of which government body and which individuals are respons were responsible for his arrest. And we demand accountability and we demand it right now. Thank you very much.